Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. Welcome to your Golf Central update as it was an absolute thrilling final day Sunday at the Valspar Championship. Adam Schenk and Jordan Spieth in that final pairing going toe-to-toe -to -toe right up to the 72nd hole. Neither of them could do enough though to catch Taylor Moore who posted a final round 67, 10 under to uh, confirm his first ever PGA Tour win as he caught up with Kirike Dixon after his success. Here with Taylor Moore, a winner on the PGA Tour, victorious here at the Valspar Championship all week. You were chipping away at that leaderboard, and today you come out victorious. Uh, describe the emotions in this moment. Yeah, it really hasn't sunk in yet, Kira, but yeah, super excited, not only for me, but you know, for everybody else around me and my family and my team, and you know, uh, just really excited for this moment and, and what's to come, and I'm um, going to enjoy it tonight. When you came off the course, you had a little bit of time to possibly warm up for what could have been a playoff. Um, just describe what those last 20 minutes have been like. Yeah, after I signed the card, you know, uh, Adam was at 10 under and Speed did a close one, you know, there on 17. And so I was really just trying to stay in compete mode and, um, you know, get ready to, to get ready for a playoff. So I was uh, doing that on the range and we uh, moved to the putting green and was able to watch the end and ultimately ended up winning. So it was pretty, pretty cool. Those last three holes are ultimately what determine the champion. Just, just what is the, the challenge of those last three holes? Yeah, obviously starting, you know, there on 16T, that's a tricky drive. I mean, it's such a hard tee shot and um, hit it left in the rough. And I think that was a shot of the day for me was just get, get that ball in the green and give myself a look and was fortunate to make that putt. But, yeah, last three holes are a challenge and happy to get it done. I spoke to your short game coach, Josh Gregory, and he said that you arrive at practice every single day with a plan and you execute it all the time. What has the hard work been like to get to this moment? Yeah, it's been, you know, many, many years of doing the same thing. And, you know, it started really in 2020 after after we took a break for COVID and I wasn't where I wanted to be on the Corn Ferry Tour. And he helped, you know, prepare me every day to just, like you said, do the same thing. And so it really started there. And it's, you know, been two or three years of hard work day in and day out. Congratulations. Thanks so much. So Taylor Moore, not the man that we thought we were going to be discussing taking home this title, but hey, we shouldn't have underestimated him. He started the day two shots off the lead, but when you've got the likes of Tommy Fleetwood and Jordan Spieth up there, those are the names who you think would walk away after a week like this. How did he do it? What did he do well? He did everything well across the board. He was top 10 in most strokes gain categories. Uh, he, he was a good rookie last year, finished 67th in the FedEx Cup, currently moved all the way up to 9th in this year's FedEx Cup, and now he's a top 50 player in the world, 49th in the OWGR. Yeah, he's just uh, locked up his PGA Tour card for the next two years. We'll be seeing him tee it up at Augusta National at the PGA Championship. Taylor Moore is your champion at the Valspar Championship. But it was 2015 winner of this event, Jordan Spieth, who pushed them right to the wire. Coming up the 72nd hole, needed to make birdie to force the playoff, ultimately made bogey and fell two shots shy of Taylor Moore. And he caught up with Kira after his round. Here with Jordan Spieth. Jordan, tough day out there. You battled extremely hard. Um, ultimately, this isn't the conversation that you were wanting to have. But um, what's going through your mind at this moment? Um, not much. It was a it was a good week. I I didn't feel Friday on. I had my best stuff um, and really felt like I held in there. And um, today, you know, I had a couple chances where uh, where I maybe could have taken advantage early in the round and separated a little bit. But it was only two bad swings and. Um, and one of them just happened to be on 16 that really hurt me uh, and then had to give it a go on 18. So it was a, I actually I was in a really good frame of mind. I had a lot I actually had a lot of fun today, um, which was really enjoyable. It was fun having putts to tie the lead. It was, you know, he was made a bomb on 12 and the place went nuts. And I'm like, I'll step up and make it on top. Same on number nine. And um, so I kind of really enjoyed the whole process today. I was in a way better state than I was yesterday. And. Um, there's a lot of positive to take from that for sure. What do you think the difference was in your mindset from yesterday coming into today? Well, I just needed to be calmer. I mean, the conditions were going to be hard and it was going to be a heightened, you know, it's Sunday. So um, I just needed to come out and, and really just have the kind of demeanor that I've had the last month or so, um, which is sometimes different than, you know, when I'm really trying. I, I just thought it'd be a patient day and I needed the round to come to me and not go force it. And that's exactly what was happening. I mean, I was hitting a lot of greens, having looks and making a few birdies. And, um, you know, I just want one swing back, but, um, you know, that's okay. I, it was a shot when I stood on the tee, it's a shot that I haven't had. 
um, which is the really low pinchy fade three wood. And I just said, I'm going to step in and try and hit it anyways. And if I don't pull it off, then I got to go get better at it. And if I do, then I'll take a lot of confidence out of it. I didn't pull it off, but um, um, I, I wouldn't do it over again. I wouldn't play a different shot or a different club. I just misexecuted. Can you put into context for those that don't know the difficulty of the last three holes on this golf course? Uh, well, I mean, we played them in so many different wins. You know, it's nice to have 17, 18 downwind and 16 off the right, which we had a couple days. But today it was the opposite. And, um, yeah, it's 16 is just a, a monster because you just have to hit the fairway. And even from then, it's hard to hit the green. And then 17 was 222 into that north wind, so playing 235 or so. And then 18's fairway is like four yards wide, so um, into the wind. So it's just, it's just really hard to have a ball in position to make birdie. Um, you don't want to have to make a birdie on any of those three holes. In fact, it's hard to just play them even par. So, um, yeah, uh, I didn't feel, you know, 18, I thought I hit a couple nice shots, and I ended up having to give it the putt a go. But um, bummer to not knock in the next one and just kept off the day, you know, a two under. But um, on the next week, came's in a good spot. It was a really consistent week for me, which is what I've been looking to try and do. You know, when you look at this leaderboard at the start of the day, you think Jordan Spieth and you think, hey, he's a 13-time PGA Tour winner. He should really get this done, surrounded by guys who had never done it on the PGA Tour before. Wasn't his day. However, like he said, he will be taking a lot of positives away from this week. And he played a pretty clean round. He only had the two bogeys. It was much better than his roller coaster round yesterday. Made a number of great par putts on the front nine. A lot of great birdie putts, too. But was a little bit short. He had that putt on 17 to tie the lead, kind of left it off a little short and low of the hole. Did that a couple times on the back nine when he really needed to make a putt, but um, disappointed in that tee shot on 16, but he mm. played great. He's got a lot of momentum going into the Masters. It's his favorite golf tournament, and I think he's, uh, I think he's now more so at any point this season, ready to go contend at Augusta. Yeah, we always knew that 16th hole uh, at the Valspar was going to be a pivotal hole, and it turned out that it was. It sort of derailed his round for the, for, the, for the final two holes. But looking ahead and looking at the stretch of golf that we've got and this time of year for Jordan Spieth, he's always going to be a favourite at the Masters. We know his record there. He just suits that place perfectly. But what did you like about his game this week that you think he's going to carry forward with him? He drove it much better. Now, as I say that, he did have the high right miss on 16 out into the water. That's been his miss this year. It was held in check pretty well this week. Had a couple of them on the sixth hole today and on Thursday. Had some big high right misses. But for the most part, he drove the ball better than he has all year. Okay, well, Jordan Spieth, there. he was out in that final pairing alongside Adam Schenk, and we've got to give this man a word. But 31 years of age, uh, six years on tour, this was his 10th straight week out there. He's uh, out there collecting as many FedEx Cup points as he can. He's expecting his baby just next month. He was this close to breaking through for the first time. What do you think his big takeaways from today will be? That he knows he can win on the PGA Tour. He did everything but that today. Hit the unfortunate tee shot on 18, but in the pressure of the snake pit on 16, one hopped over the back of the green, got it up and down out of a terrible eye, made a 10-footer. And then on 17, pretty bad bunker shot, but when he had to make the 15-footer for par to stay tied for the lead, he buried that putt too. So I think he can go to sleep tonight knowing that he's got what it takes to win. He certainly can. It's just a great time of life Adam Shank, Tommy Fleetwood as well, also looking for his first win on tour, came up just short. But again, you can expect him to be back because today belonged to Taylor Moore. First time winner on the PGA Tour and he got it done at the 2023 Valspar Championship. You happy?